movie. So I really enjoyed this movie a lot, and I love Sound of My Voice as well. And, and both films sort of have a cult theme that you're sort of exploring. And I was curious, what is it about that world that interests you and, and, and makes you want to sort of make these movies? Well, I would say that both of them have a group theme or a tribe theme, but where I think cults have a sort of spiritual underpinning. And so in Sound of My Voice, it's, it's a cult. And okay. it's definitely, we definitely empathize with that cult. But in the East, I think it's a collective, it's a collective. And so uh, it's all about tribalism. And I, I really, I, you know, lions live in prides. And I think humans were designed and evolved to live in tribes. And I think that that's our natural state. And we've been ripped apart from that. And so I feel that I at least have this, and I, I know Britt has it too, and I know you have it too, is this yearning to, to lean towards the tribe, to go back to that way of living. And there's something very dramatic that's interesting to sort of explore in that in a film. Sure, because it's, it's going against everything that we know. We live in a culture that really values individualism, that values sort of the greatness of the individual. And, you know, it doesn't value collective thought or collective action or the price and sacrifice that you have to make to live in a group or to be part of a family, especially yeah, constructive taking care family. of one another. Like you listen to some of the rhetoric right now, like political rhetoric that is like so intense. Like already when you're from Canada and you have something like public health care and then you come to the States and you're like, wait, what? Like this just doesn't make any sense. And now that just seems to be taken further and further. And those who um, don't have the immense privilege that others have are being demonized or, or you know, it seems really, really incredible to me that we would not would not want to support one another because we're all a part of the society, you know. You know, and some of that individualism comes from America's pioneer history, and I think that's great. And I think that everybody who lives in this country, for the most part, came here because they were looking for something different, something better, and um, that's a great part. But we've been ripped apart from the group part of pioneer. The pioneers came across this continent to Los Angeles to here as a group, right. as a tribe. You know, they did not come alone. Right, you know, we kind of lost that. Well, Ellen, I also know that environmental issues is a, is a big passion of yours. And this film deals with a lot of environmental issues. Was that a really a fun thing for you to sort of have an opportunity in, you know, combine your two passions, acting and environment, and, and get an opportunity to sort of shine a light on it in a film? Well, I mean, you know, firstly, it was just a beautifully written script that was entertaining and suspenseful and thrilling. But yeah, it talks about a lot of ideas that I'm personally interested in that I think a lot of people are. I think a lot of people are, whether you're right or left or Christian or atheist, whatever, um, are angry right now and frustrated with a lot of activity and behavior by corporate America and that uh, that causes a lot of destruction, destruction to the earth and destruction to people, typically those who are disenfranchised and don't have a voice like those with wealth do. And um, to be able to be in a film that explores a lot of the, those ideas and offers a different perspective, uh, I feel grateful for and, and, and see value in. Um, and, uh, and, 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 I, and I hope, it, it'll be interesting just to see how audiences, audiences respond to it. Yeah, this guy's a great filmmaker. He is a great filmmaker. And Brit, you two are, you with Brit, is a, just a great team. You guys make great movies. Hopefully we get to make some more. Yeah, I hope so too. Great talking to you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it so much.